Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. So there's not actually a lot of news to talk about today. You know, we covered all the big news items for the week, uh, you know, the first week of the uh, new season. So uh, the only thing, other things I kind of want to talk about, just, you know, again, bring it up for discussion on what what's going on in this season and uh, wondering how you like it. Uh, again, you know, the more I play, uh, the more fun I'm having this season, except for when I run into uh, a bunch of spaceships in one spot. Uh, I, I encountered this multiple times today while playing, being uh, on the ground. Okay, and then uh, the circle is moving, right? So you're getting to the last couple of circles. And when you have three or four spaceships in the same spot, uh, because they, you know, everybody has to move in, the circles are closing. So eventually, everybody who's just flying around in spaceships and, uh, you know, cheesing their way to, to placement, they're going to be up there in the sky. But then everybody's getting, uh, you know, funneled in to a certain spot. And the, the, it, it's, you know, it's, it's no choice for the people in the spaceships. That's what they're going to do is spam those missiles down at the people on the ground. And there's just really nowhere to run. So when there's that many of them, it kind of ruins the end game. Uh, so I don't know what they got to do to figure out how to, uh, again, weaken them again. Because they, just getting spammed by one was already hard enough. Uh, like I said, if you if you were if you're not able to take out the spaceship right away, uh, and you have to start reloading and whatnot, it's kind of hard to take them down. Uh, even though they don't have that much health, if you if you can get it before they start spamming you, then uh, you have a better chance uh, when there's just one. But if there's two or three of them, it almost you know. And I'm talking about I was playing solo, right? So then it feels like it almost feels like. The, your opponents are teaming against you, but they're not really because they don't actually have a good way to shoot each other when they're up there in the spaceships, you know, uh, because those missiles aren't really good at hitting uh, the other spaceships because they're uh, they're slow against things that are moving that can go, you know, left, right, up and down. When you're on the ground, you're, you just have only so many, you can't, you know, move through space by going up and down. You're just running around on a flat surface. So if you have three of them spamming those missiles at you, then uh, you're toast. <laughs> you don't have any time to reload at all. Uh, I I was in a situation where I had like a few hundred brick, a few hundred metal, and uh, almost max wood. And uh, I was in like the last couple of circles, and there was just spaceships spamming me, spamming me, spamming me. And I ran out of builds because I, I just could not <laughs> do anything else but try to build and protect myself. And then eventually, uh, after I ran out of builds, uh, the spaceships just took me down and I didn't watch the rest of the match. So I don't know how it ended, but nobody got out of their spaceships uh, while I was in there in the last few uh, circles there. So uh, I just, I, I really hope that they can do something. And really, the, the, you know, what I would think they would do to nerf the spaceship, all you would really have to do is just reduce the, the, the rate of fire on that thing, reduce the rate of fire. Because if you're not, if you don't feel like you're getting spammed by it, then you feel like you have a better chance against it. Uh, especially if there's going to be three of them in one spot, you know, uh, if they're just, if those missiles are just constantly raining down on you, that you have no chance at all. So if they reduce the fire rate, uh, you know, maybe a couple of seconds in between each shot, then that would make a big difference. And again, also, you know, making it so that <laughs> you don't uh, take fall damage after being knocked back by one of those things uh, just kind of seems uh, ridiculous that it knocks you so far back that you can die from the fall damage after getting hit by one of those. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to know uh, how you guys are feeling about this season so far. Again, for me, I'm having absolute, you know, I'm having an absolute blast with everything else. I, I'm having so much fun this season. Uh, it feels like Fortnite, you know, because we got so many 
uh, wacky weapons like we used to have uh, back in the early days of chapter, uh, you know, chapter one, you know, like season, uh, especially season uh, one, but like I'm thinking like season two, season three, uh, that's when we started getting a lot of really cool things and then it really kicked off on season four, I thought. Uh, but it what it didn't they weren't you know that was before the time before like there was ballers and before we had mechs right so we had a bunch of wacky things but they didn't feel like they you know most of the community didn't feel like they were overpowered so that's how i feel like most of the items are this season with the exception of a couple of things that just need minor tweakings with the spaceships but yeah i'd love to hear how you guys uh, feel about it uh in the discord uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, but, you know, not really any news to talk about today since we covered all the big items this week. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what we have uh, in the uh, LTMs today, right? Uh, we have uh, Team Rumble, of course. Uh, we have uh, Rockets versus Cars. We have the Top Vehicle Games Showcase. The Freaky Flights, Air Royale, Advanced Red vs. Blue, and Battle Lab. Uh, let's do some challenge tips. Let's see here. Where were we? Where, where were we on our list of challenges? We need to upgrade bench, uh, upgrade weapons at upgrade benches. Okay, and again, I don't have it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I don't have it on my screen. But if you have that challenge, uh, when you select it, it's going to show you where all of the upgrade benches are. And there's a ton this season, so that feels really great. That's another thing, uh, now that I think about it, since we're talking about things that uh, we hope to see uh, changed this season, uh, is the cost to upgrade. I mean, why does it cost, <laughs> you know, to go from a, a a gray weapon to a green weapon? Why is it 200 gold? I mean, oh my goodness, it's that's a, a bit steep. So hopefully they can uh, nerf uh, the 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 cost of upgrading items a little bit as well but yeah when you go to do this challenge and you select it it'll show you all around the map where all the uh the benches are and of course i always uh say that you can use the squatting dog app and uh you know find where everything is because he does a good job of uh, updating I, I think i saw on his social media that he has his app all updated so that you'll be able to find uh all the challenges all the uh, you know, pretty much everything that you're going to need for this season, you're going to be able to find it in the app. It's all uh, updated last time uh, I checked. Uh, let's see here. Um, I wanted to cover another one because we got so many extra ones. We need to deal damage with Pulse Rifle. Again, just go into any of the uh, IO uh, guard bases so that you can get that challenge done easily just by... Uh, you know, picking up the IO guard uh, weapons at all of those locations, okay? The, it's a lot easier to find the weapons uh, in there. And again, uh, Corny Complex is a great spot too because they have like the underground base uh, there as well, if you didn't know that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the item shop today. We have... Uh, some good stuff. We have all of the DC bundles still here. We have uh, the uh, football icons items still here as well. The turn up the music, major laser, and marshmallow bundles are still here. And then we have the Rio Grande outfit with the Grande pack back bling for 1200 The double cross outfit with the floral shell back bling for 1200 The confused emote for 500 the It's Complicated emote for 500 We got the Llama Bell emote for 800 The Shadow Spar emote for 200 uh, We get the Nick A30's locker bundle in here today. So the Mogul Master Canada, Mogul Ski Bag Canada, Driver Harvesting Tool, the Sky Stripe Glider, and the True Heart emote in here, all for 2,100 V-Bucks. That's 1,200 off the total. You can get the Mogul Master outfit with the Mogul Ski Bag Back Bling for 1,500, Driver Harvesting Tool for 500, Sky Stripe Glider for 500, and the True Heart emote is 800. Uh, and then we have a new emote as well today, the uh, Roly Rider 
emo to roll with it and so you are on a uh, a ball and you're balancing act and uh, you can actually roll around and uh you know traverse uh the the island with this so uh pretty neat you have the Blaze outfit. Love this one with the fire starter back bling for 1,500. The Dread Fate outfit with the Dread Shield back bling and Dread Strikers harvesting tool for 1,800. The Dread Omen outfit with the Dread Shroud back bling for 1,500. The Dread Oracle axe harvesting tool for 1,200. The Gut Bomb outfit with the Takeout back bling for 1,500. The Hot House outfit with the Tomcom back bling for 1,500. The Grill Count Harvesting Tool for 800 The Rusty Roller Harvesting Tool for 800 And that looks like everything today. So you can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop. And some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Let's go ahead and talk about our tip of the day. Okay, so for our tip, it's to use that recon scanner, okay? We we already talked about it. The thing can, uh, you know, it can uh, find your enemies and mark the enemies for you really well. But if you're just running around the island at any point and you want to uh, know if there's chests available uh, in a, in a, a POI, uh, you know, sometimes you run it up into a POI, it's, it hasn't been looted yet. Uh, sometimes it has, and you don't want to waste your time trying to figure out, uh, you know, if certain chests have been opened or if the place is unlooted or whatnot, easy peasy, just use that recon scanner, uh, rifle, shoot it, uh, around the POI and it's going to show you exactly where the chests are, uh, and you won't have to be running around wondering where chests are in the location and you'll be able to get to them faster uh, and, you know, grab your loot faster and hopefully get better loot faster in those locations. Or you can just make it so that you don't waste your time in going into areas that don't have any. Uh, so just make sure, you know, since you have pretty much infinite ammo with that thing, it just takes 10 seconds to, uh, you know, reload itself. Then, uh, you know, make sure that you're using it at all times and using it to your advantage so that you can really uh, get not just, you know, information on where your enemies are, but information on where, you know, there could be uh, extra items that could help you along your journey to get that victory royale. All right, that's the episode for today. Make sure you go join the daily Fortnite discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.